4 piece of protection 4, 4 piece of fire protection 4, 4 piece of blast protection 4 and 4 piece of projectile protection 4. Some more enchants, 4 book with mending, 4 book with unbreaking 3, 1 book with depth slider 3, 1 book with feather falling 4, 1 book with respiration 3 and 1 book with aqua affinity. That's the all enchanted books which you need to the god armor. Another very important thing is to gather the enchantments to the max level. The way to get that is by buying that from villagers. You need to make a lot of tradings to try to get the best enchants from that villager like how I made on my hardcore world and we have a very big lucky and we get protection 4 from that villager in a very short time and that's the way, that's the way how you can get the biggest level of the enchants for the god armor. If you don't have the biggest level of the all enchants, it's possible that the anvil arm will say you, you can't place the enchants on the armor because that is too expensive. And for that you need to get the all enchants on the max level from the villagers. Now you need to took a lot of fireworks, an elytra, some anvils, some diamond tools and very important a diamond armor because we are gonna back to 1.4 when the netherite stuff are doesn't exist and when we join to the world it's very probable that um, your netherite stuff are disappear and we don't want that. I will place on the screen the exact number of XP which you need for the first enchants of that armor. Now you need to travel thousands of vlog far of your base because when you join to 1.14 a lot of chunks are gonna disappear and I will reload in 1.40. I travel very far but I don't travel 5000 or 10,000 blocks because I'm in an only creative world and I don't have anything to lose. I place some in my diamond armor because it's possible that when I go in 1.14 I will appear in a lot of blocks and I can uh, I can die in that way. So, so I place my armor and I stay with my pickaxe in my hand. Because in my hardcore world when I make the god armor I summon into some blocks and I was very close to die. Before you join to 1.14 it's very important to make a backup of your world. And now I join to 1.14 and now we need to downgrade the world. I recommend you to firstly make a backup of your world and only after you make a backup go to 1.14. And now I will start to work on the god armor. We need the anvil, I place that down, I need my entire armor and now I will start to combine protection with blast protection. That's the first stuff which you need to make and again with your ore protection 4 and blast protection. After that you need to start to combine fire protection with projectile protection. Firstly I place protection 4 and blast protection. That's 30 level of XP but because I want to give a name to that is 40. <clears throat> and now I place and now I place fire protection and projectile protection on that. And as you can see the anvil are broke. For that I say that you need some more anvils like 4 or 5. I place another one and I continue to place more enchants on my armor. Protection 4 and blast protection. Projectile fire protection and projectile protection, protection 4 and blast protection, fire protection and projectile protection, protection 4 and blast protection, and fire protection and projectile protection. And now we get the god armor. We took back the anvil and now we have the god armor. That's the strongest armor in the entire game with the all protection. And now we need to join back to 1.18. So I close that world and I come back from 1.18. Now I'm on 1.18 and I load the world. And now I place my elytra and I go back to my home. And here is the edge of 1.14 to 1.18. And after some times I arrive back to my base. I place down the anvil and now I will continue to place more enchants on my armor. Firstly. I will combine, firstly I will combine Aqua Affinity with Respiration 3, Weather Falling 4 with Depth Sider 3 for my leggies, after that I will start to combine Unbreaking 3 with Mending. I place another anvil and now I will start to place that enchants on my god armor. Firstly it's very important to place Aqua Affinity and Respiration 3, not Unbreaking 3 and Mending. And I will start to place that on my god armor. And after that I will place unbreaking 3 and mending on that. And I need a lot of XP for that but 
that's the god armor that's the best armor from the entire game now i will place some breaking tree on my chest plate I'm breaking three, I'm ending on my leggies. And now it's very important to place Feather Falling 4 and Death Sire 3 firstly that I'm breaking three and bending. And now I will place some breaking three and bending on my shoes. In the beginning of the journey, I have 300 levels of XP, and now I remain with only 25. That I mean, I use 275 level of XP to make that god armor. And now I start to upgrade that armor to. A netherite armor and now we have the best armor in the entire game that's the stronger armor from the entire game and as you can see I didn't get any damage from that zombie and I can kill that very easy I stay a little bit here to see when I will gather the first damage from that zombie and I gather the first damage but I regenerate very fast how many damage are give that skeleton nothing I will go to that creeper and I will test that armor. One heart and a half. That's incredible, but if you have that god armor, you are literally invincible.